So we're here in West Vancouver at the Aquatic and Environmental Research Center and uh, we're here with the Deep Worker Submersibles and we'll be training uh, a number of uh, astronauts and scientists to pilot the Deep Workers. Yeah. And the, uh, of course the NASA interest is in the, um, in the possible relic lakes on Mars. It's what they expect to find, yeah, you know, the, the evidence of this sort of stuff. So yeah. it should be pretty wild. Yeah, it will be, yes. This is kind of like the dream project in that it's, you know, interdisciplinary science, very interesting and in fact relevant to the formations of life on Earth and possibly other planets. And then using these techniques like the deep workers as, as well as divers is very analogous to the kinds of things we're going to be doing on the moon. What I'm hoping to accomplish is to really understand how these microbialites are created and to really look at the creation of these microbialites in a very holistic manner. So I want to look at what makes this lake so special that it's able to harbor these microbialites today and also what, uh, what is the difference between this lake and many other environments around the world where you do see microbialites as well. These are pretty much the, the smallest one-man submersible that's ever been built. Today we started training and I'm just so excited. It's amazing. I have so many questions and I'm trying to hold back and not ask too many of them because I'm sure the answers are coming. Are these actually oh. the subs that we're going to have at the lake this summer? Yes. Okay, great. Yeah. Sub six, mm -hmm. sub seven. We want to know so, um, everything inside out and I think that's just because we've been trained you. and looked at manuals forever and ever given that we've been through school forever and ever. Um, but that at the same time all of us are aching to get into the subs. Is there um, cabin lighting? Um, there isn't. Um, the screens put out quite a bit of ambient, okay. and even that is a bit problematic at times because okay. you really want it dark inside to be able to see out easily. Yeah. We will keep an eye on this as well, but I want you to make sure that those pressures don't start creeping back up. We just in came into words. town yesterday, so we're getting to know each other, but uh, my sense already is that, that uh, first of all, everybody's a, a team player. There's a lot of uh, scientific knowledge and a multiple uh, range of, of, of uh, specialties. Um, and there's a willingness on everybody's part to really embrace these new operational techniques and kind of work together to come up with the best plan forward. So I, I think it's actually the blending of all the, the different uh, perspectives and, and talents that, that would make this a strong team. Yep, sounds good. Yeah. Um, give me your HP. 2000. LP. 100. My research good. is looking at microbes okay. and how they exist in extreme environments. And Pavilion Lake is a very unique extreme environment that we can look at how microbes interact with rocks, in particular in this case the carbonate rock structures of the microbialites. And we want to understand what role biology plays in, in uh, forming these structures and how it might, signals of that role might be preserved. Push the, I'm sorry. Yeah, so this one here, uh -huh. just go left and right. Gotcha. So, there you go. Okay. That's going to take a lot of practice. Um, you'd be surprised. Really? I mean, it's not. It's not that hard. Okay. All right. I feel like I need to be with it for a little while, and I feel better. <laughs> and then just all the way. Okay. Cool. What that means. Okay. All right. Getting in the sub yesterday for the first time was so exciting. It's going to be great. And you know, we spent quite a few hours just doing our safety checks. Um, that we'll do prior to each dive and so we didn't even get in the water yesterday but it was a lot um, to you know get your head around but it's really really exciting I think all of us just got up this morning you know eager to get in the water I've done tons of diving and I've done four space missions and uh, as an operator your biggest fear is not your own safety, it's that you don't screw something up. So um, I think it's always a healthy attitude to have that fear and then work hard to make sure that you don't do that. Let's uh, test your soft ballast valve for me. Soft ballast valve is here. Down, up. Uh, we have to cycle the full range, okay, so up so and up down. First. Oh, I'm scared, of course, you know, because you just never know how you're going to react in, your, in, in this kind of environment. But, but I think, um, I think anybody who approaches any uh, circumstance, whether it's being underwater or giving a, a talk in front of a few people for the first time or, you know, having a child for the first time, if you're not scared, then, then something's probably wrong. So, um, and I'm not afraid Starboard to admit building. it because I think in so many things that I've done in my life, I've had reservations um, or anxieties and they've helped me because you have to address them in order to move forward. And then that means, you know, the challenges are there and you understand what they are and that's what you need to overcome. And so I actually love these kinds of things because um, that's living. You know, that's, that's 
you know, just making sure that you're breathing in every second. Copy you, five by five. So today I was the first of our team to be deployed in the deep workers into the harbor for training. And so when they were craning me up and into the harbor, of course my heart's going a mile a minute. I was a bit of, I think the an analogy is that I was a little hummingbird in the deep worker. Um, you know, and that's just tons of just excitement and like, you know, just wonder of what, what's going to happen going through uh, my mind. Deep Worker 6, Deep Worker 6, top side, how do you copy? Deep Worker 6 to top side, I'm fine, thank you. Roger that, how do you feel Darlene? This is very cool, Joe. Good copy. Just looking at the water, the viz is whew, not great, but uh, it's probably about two meters, if that. Deep Worker 6, at this time you're clear to enable your thrusters. Deep worker six, top side. Worker six. How's that working for you? Much better. Would throw it better? Yeah, it's it's a little bit tough. There's a little bit of current out there pushing you around too, so it's going to make it tough. Uh, at this time six, I'm going to have you uh, come into the dock. Good. Hey. Well, I think I didn't have to practice a lot to steer this better, but oh my god, it was amazing. But it does what you want it to do, that's Yeah, amazing. it does, but it's, it's, uh... Very sensitive? Well, it's, I think I'm probably not sensitive enough. <laughs> it's probably me, not the machine. You're doing good, though. You're going in a straight line. Really? Well. No, yeah, that's like... Right. <laughs> okay. Oh, you should see some people all over the place. Oh, yeah? All right, you just made me feel a lot uh, better. <laughs> What's up? I was just going to ask if I could play with my video camera because I'm sitting in front of something cool that I don't know what it is. Over. Ah, oh, goodness. That hole gets smaller every year. Good copy. You're at 160. As she approaches at 240, she will be approaching your dome. Over. Zero, and I'm going to proceed about 10 meters. Give me an all stop. Over. I will give you an all stop in the narrow. 060, her heading is 240. Uh, okay, I like that heading. Top side AQ, go ahead. Yeah, Jeff, at this time, uh, Darlene is flooding tanks, and she should be pointing straight at you, 50 meters in front of you. Okay, I have uh, AQ, I have uh, Deep Worker in sight, off to our starboard bow. Okay, you see me? I'm off your, off my starboard, over. Keep going, keep going. Deep Worker 6, AQ, yeah, Roger, that. Uh, yeah, well, I see both lights now. She's again, she's on our uh, starboard quarter, heading towards us, getting closer and closer. If you're a pilot um, that flies uh, single engine aircrafts or whatever, you, you're trained immediately um, to know that if a whole bunch of things fail on you, the best thing you can do is find somewhere to land. And so in this case, what we're trained to do is to sit tight and wait um, because you've got, um, you know, all of your support systems are pretty much going to, um, to be in place unless you're having a very, very, very bad day. Thank you. I seem to be looking at your light. Do you want me to come get closer? Yeah, yeah, I'll tell you to come in a little bit closer. Um, at this time, Deep Worker, why don't you just stay put and we'll let your dust cloud settle and maybe I can move in towards you. Over. Deep Worker is staying put happily. Over. Roger that, roger that. Okay, and there is a little Deep Worker submit. Okay, now we have this, now we have the Emerald Sea back. Yeah, we have you uh, in good sight, pretty, uh, pretty lousy visibility, but what the heck, you look great out there. So, Darlene, tell me, what do you think about the, um, 
What do you think about the, the deep worker? Clippers are really ideal for what we want to do at Pavilion Lake because the lake is basically too deep and too large for us to dive as science divers. So one of the things we want to do is explore the lake and we want to do so in a manner that's safe, that's environmentally friendly, that meets science goals, and also puts us right in the middle of, uh, of the action, so to speak. The the idea of exploring those strange sorts of things which haven't been seen before has certainly got me and I think the rest of our crew pretty excited too. So I'm really looking forward to getting down there in these subs and, uh, and spending a long time on the bottom and seeing what we can find out. This is really one of those things that I think, you know, in my old age, hopefully I have my memory, I know this will be one of the highlights for sure um, because it really is such a special thing to be able to do. I really feel very, very privileged uh, to be part of this. Okay, Darlene, um, probably the next time we're in this position, it'll be in Pavilion Lakes. So I'll certainly look forward to it. Uh, we're going to head on up, so uh, we'll see you later. Continue uh, with your studies, and I'm sure you're just going to get better and better. Take care of yourself. Bye now. Bye now. Thanks a lot, Phil. Over now. This is us out of here. Back to the sunlight. Are you uh, going to recover EQ over? Topside deep worker, Roger, hold station. Okay, there's the bottom being left behind, and we can just see uh, Darlene's lights off in the distance there. Yeah, I guess the next time we see uh, Darlene, it'll be uh, at the bottom of Pavilion Lake, and boy, I'm really looking forward to that. I'm real pleased with the, the way these, these uh, student pilots uh, are picking it up. They're doing just fine. Darlene and her bunch are a real, real good group. And it's a pleasure to, uh, to have them uh, learn to dive our little submarines. So the next time will be Pavilion Lake, and I'm sure looking forward to it.